Okay, so hello everyone again. So we'll start with our uh, continuation with our uh, lesson number 11. So last time we uh, utilized uh, matrix algebra to solve for our regression model. Now, you can also use uh, Minitab. Uh, kaya lang yung Minitab kasi meron siyang bayad. But you can download yung Minitab and uh, try to practice. And ang i-generate nyo sa yung uh, information will be this uh, table. Okay? So, for this one, ang, kaila ang makikita mo, ito yung regression model equation. Ito yung prediction coefficient. Ito yung kanyang uh, sigma squared or yung variance ng, ng data natin. So, later we will discuss kung paano kinukumpute yung variance ng isang linear regression. <coughs> and another information. So, pareho lang ito sa Excel. They have the analysis of variance, yung ADOVA. And this one, they can use yung prediction model. Okay? Using the model. Okay, now, for the unbiased estimator, basically, this is just your variance. And the variance is just equal to the summation of the squared of your uh, residual divided by n minus p, where p is equal to k plus 1. So k plus 1 siya, or this one are the number of coefficient, number of coefficient lang yan. Or this one is just equal to SSE over NP. Okay, actually madali lang to kung meron kang uh, analysis of variance class. So pag sa analysis of variance, yung MS, ano lang siya, MSE for residual error. Okay, so let's proceed with uh, the property of least uh, estimate. So, discuss ko lang, pero uh, basically, this information, uh, hindi naman siya ganun ka-critical. Ka so, for unbiased estimator, this is just expected value of your coefficient. And ganito siya kinukompute using matrix algebra. Yung covariance naman are just the inverse. So, Yung covariance matrix is just the inverse of the product of the transpose times the matrix. And these are the coefficient of the covariance. Okay? So for individual variance and uh, covariance, so ito yung variance, ito yung covariance, ito lang yung pag-compute sa kanya. In general, this is the formula for covariance. But uh, don't, don't mind that it's too much kasi... Uh, the Excel formula can already provide or yung statistical table can provide uh, the necessary information needed for the hypothesis testing. Okay, now, <clears throat> let's have this one. So, yung next lesson is the test of the significance of regression. So, ang um, gusto lang nating sabihin dito is that there's a linear regression trend or there's a correlation or a relationship, a linear relationship between your variable and your uh, uh, predicted or with, with your uh, independent variable and your independent variable, yung regressor at saka yung response. So, ano yung usual na hypothesis test? The uh, null hypothesis is that uh, your coefficients are all equal to zero, meaning that there's no linear trend with your uh, variables, meaning yung... Uh, different independent variable mo, walang linear trend with your uh, response variable. While the alternative is that at least one of the coefficients has a value or not equal to zero, meaning there's a regression uh, relationship between your uh, variable, one of the variable, and your response variable. The test statistics is using your F-test. So, ang F-test ay ito siya. SSR, so sum of square ng residual divided by K, well, over sum of error divided by N minus P. Or this is just your mean of square ng residual, uh, uh, ng response, no response, and mean of, uh, mean of square ng error. Okay, now, so baka kinakabahan na kayo ano yung mga value na yan. Basically, this one, you can find it sa ANOVA or sa analysis of variance. So, ito yung analysis of variance. Okay. Sa so, exam, posibleng uh, may mga walang value dyan. So, for the sum of square, pwedeng isa. Usually, ang wala, ito. Dito naman, 
uh, pwedeng wala yan lahat, wala to, at saka wala. So, meaning, nakablank yan. Kakakumpitin natin siya isa-isa. Okay, so now, paano kinukumpute yung ST? Yung SST is just the sum of uh, SSR, SST, regression, as uh, so total is just SSR, so sum of square ng regression plus the sum of square ng error. That's SST. Okay, now, N is the number of observation. So, kung kanina meron tayong 25 observations, so N is 25. One, uh, yung uh, degrees of freedom naman, yung N is the number of observations. So, yung kanina example natin, 25. Yung K is number of coefficients. So, we have X1 and X2, dalawa. And P is the number of coefficients, or K plus 1. So, 3 siya. So, pag kukumpitin natin to, so this one is K. So, that will be 2 kanina. Yung NP ay 25 minus 3. So, that will be 22. 22. And this one is 25 minus 1. 24. So, actually, pag in mo tong dalawa, it should be N minus 1. So, 2 plus 22 is equal to 24. Now, ano yung MSR? Ang MSR... MSR is just, so MSR is just equal to SSR over uh, K. Ito yan, yung degrees of freedom. Yung MSE naman, so MSE is just equal to SSE over N minus P. So, ayan yung MSE. So, ito lang yan. SSR divided by K, SSE divided by NP. And yung F natin will be MSR over MSE. So, tanyo na, yung FO natin is just MSR over MSE and yung MSR is SSR over K. Ito lang yun, SSR divided by K. And yung baba, yung MSE is SSE divided by NE. So, yan yung MSE natin. So, basically, balik tayo dun sa Excel file natin. Uh, makita nyo dito, ito yung analysis of variance. Tingnan natin. So, dito, baliktad. Ang nauuna ay degrees of freedom. So, kita nyo kanina, 2. Diba? Dalawa yung variable. Uh, residual is 25 minus uh, the number of coefficient, which is 3. Or N plus uh, yung uh, K plus 1. So, that will be uh, 22. And yung total, pag sinamo to, that's 24. Okay? 24 yan. Or yung N minus 1. Okay. SSE, ito yung makukumpit natin. So, dapat pag kinuha nyo yung sum nito, ay... Uh, pareho siya nung total. Pwedeng isa dyan, wala. Okay? So, makukumpute naman natin yung uh, other variable. Okay, now, yung MSE, di divide nyo na. So, divide nyo to, yung SSE divide by the degrees of freedom. So, ito siya. Ito naman, divide by this one. Okay? So, ito yung MS, MSR, ito yung MSE natin. Lumayan ko lang, ha? And lastly, yung F natin. So, yung F natin ay Ito. So, divide lang MSE, uh, MSR over MSE. So, meaning kaya natin compute in yung data or yung Excel natin will provide this information. So, ito hindi na kailangan. Just yung total of square, nandun na sa Excel file, yung SSR. Uh, nandun na rin sa Excel ko. Yung SSE, nandun na rin sa Excel. Or you can use the formula SST minus SS. Or you can utilize this formula. No formula naman. So, pagkuha ng FO, this will be MSR over MSE. Ito yung information natin. Now, paano natin kukunin yung FO critical? So, yung FO critical ay ito yon. So, yung alpha, kung ano yung alpha natin, ano yung tinatanong? Alpha ay 0 0.05. So, alpha is 0 0.05. Then, we're getting to get the degrees of freedom, yung 2 and 22. So, ito ay MSR or degrees of freedom ng R. Ito ay degrees of freedom ng R. Okay? So, pag pumunta kayo sa C, that, sa F table natin, makukuha nyo yung 3.44. Uh, since the p-value is considerably smaller than alpha, so, pag kinuha mo yung p-value nito, uh, sa sa information, then that will be less than alpha. 
or i-compare nyo na lang siya. Diba? Pag mas malaki to, therefore, we'd reject the null hypothesis. Ganun lang yun, yung rejection. They reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the pulse strength is linearly related to either the wire length or the die height, or both. Depending on practical inter interpretation, rejection of HO does not necessarily imply that the relationship found is an appropriate model for predicting pulse strength. This is just stating that there is an adequate uh, correlation or there's a linear regression. Okay, so ito yung makikita nyo dun sa regression table sa Excel. So, ito lang yun. At actually, titignan nyo lang yung p-value or yung significant nung, nung dito. So, yung significant, ito yun. Yung significant ng F, which is yung p-value that is 1 raised to negative 90. Okay? So, therefore, there's no correlation. Now, uh, hypothesis test in multiple linear regression determining the R squared and the adjusted R squared. Yung R squared natin is just coefficient of multiple determination. So, R squared, this is equal just to R or the uh, squared ng R, yung correlation. Correlation siya. Okay? So, saan siya makikita? Doon sa Excel file. Punta tayo sa Excel file. So, makikita nyo yung regression model or yung RS here, sa regression statistic. Ito yung R squared, ito yung adjusted R. Ito yung multiple R. Makita nyo rin yung error at saka yung observation dito sa uh, summary output. So, makita nyo siya, dun dyan yung mga information. So, paano yung kinu-compute kung walang binigay? So, yung R squared is just equal to SSR over SST using the ANOVA. So, pag dinivide mo, yung SS R with SST, so ito yun, SSR divided by SST, that will be the R squared value, or 1 minus SSE over SST. Kasi yung SSR is equal to SST minus, yung SSR, minus SSE. Okay? So, pwedeng, pwedeng itong formula. Okay. Now, anong ibig sabihin nito? For the wire bond pool uh, strength data, we find that the R squared, is 0.9811. Tingnan natin dun sa regression. 0.9811. Ito yung nasa Excel natin. Okay? So, pareho yung data na na-compute. Okay. So, balik tayo dito. So, you can see here na anong ibig sabihin nito? The model accounts for about 98% of the variability in the pool strength response. So, meaning maganda yung regression model natin. Yung adjusted, Nandun lang din yan sa Excel, but you can use this formula to calculate. So, SSE over N minus sa dito, so 1 minus siya. May adjustment ka lang ng degrees of freedom. So, it can help guard against overfitting, including regressor that are not really useful. Okay, now, ganun din sa pag-test uh, in multiple linear regression for in individual regression. So, Ito yung ating alternative. So, we can say that the hypothesis test uh, for significant any individual regression. So, yung coefficient ng J is equal to your BJ0, yung specified regression model, or it should not be equal. So, ang gagamitin ay t-test. So, ito yung pag-compute, saan naman siya makikita. So, makikita siya dito sa baba. Ito yan, yung, 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 uh, testing ng, ng regression. So, ito yung standard error. Ito yung p-value. So, makukumpit na yung p-value and yung p-value. So, pag nag-tie dito, so, reject HO if the p is greater than the 3 critical. So, familiar na pagkuha ng critical, no? So, this is called the partial marginal test. So, pag specific coefficient yung tinitest, p-test. Pag regression model or significance ng regression, ano ba? Okay, F test. Okay, now let's check this one. So consider the wire band full strength data and suppose that we want to test the hypothesis that the regression coefficient for x to die height is zero. So this one is specific lang sa coefficient ng x2. So sabi natin na yung ating null hypothesis that the regression coefficient of x2 is 0, meaning walang linear regression. 
But otherwise, yung alternative hypothesis, it's not equal to zero. So, uh, computing lang. So, B2 over yung etong information or etong makukuha na siya dito sa Excel model. So, ito lang yun. So, variable number 2. So, ito siya. So, 4.47675. Okay? So, ito siya sa baba. Ito yung information na kailangan natin. And when you check, check the, the p-value, it's less than alpha, which is 0 0.000189. So, meaning, uh, we reject the null hypothesis. Okay? So, ito yung value, 4.477. Yeah, 4.477. Okay. So, from this one, now that we have used the estimate, reported used to the, to, uh, the decimal place. So, pag ito yung tinignan mo, yung t-value, so you use the t-table. So, 2.07. So, we'll reject the null hypothesis and conclude that there's a contribution, linear contribution. You can also have to use the p-value, so less than uh, zero and less than yung less than point zero zero uh, point zero zero two yung p value natin and less than siya ng point zero five so we reject the null hypothesis so, anong ibig sabihin lang nito that the regression coefficient for f sub two is significant okay okay so we'll end